Ladies and gents, we have a Nomad game. And have you seen where these TCs are going? Look at the minimap. They are all going to be very, very, <gasps> very, very, very close together here uh, in this 4v4 Nomad game. Now, for those that watched the prior game, uh, the teams have changed ever so slightly. So it is now Rubenstock's team uh, is still teamed with two players from Finland. But then also Monos has joined. Monos was their enemy previously, so that could be a little bit confusing. But And then we have uh, the Chinese team, but also Kyler, who I believe is a Norwegian player. I could be wrong. Um, so it is three Finns and friend, and it is three Chinese players and friend. And one of the big ones here in the color six, we've got Yo. And Yo is incredible. So let's introduce Yo's team first. Let's start there. Obviously, we've got Yo in the north. Uh, to the right of him, then, we have Kyler, who uh, plays a lot of team games. This is a solid player playing as the Bulgarians. Um, not too far away from them, and also in a safe position, is DK2. And guys, the best thing for a Chinese team... Uh, DK is playing as the Chinese, by the way, so home field advantage because he's from China. The best position for Licks is right next to everybody else. If you know Licks in team games, yes. he loves to make it messy. And so Licks uh, is going to tell his team, uh, hey, guys, uh, there's somebody here, 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 and here. Now, that's assuming he actually notices it, right? Um, he did walk by Blue's TC, so he knows Manos is there, but... Wix yes. is playing as the Saracens. We'll see how things go. Uh, the nice thing for us is now that people are not all on voice chat together, we do actually get to see some of that team communication in the game. But let's just quickly introduce the Finnish team. Uh, Max is playing as the Armenians here, and he's teamed with Rubenstock. These are the two best Finnish players. Uh, well, I guess they're not the two best Finnish players because Velez is out there, but these guys have played team games together a lot. And look how cute this is, guys. They are sharing the trees. They are sharing intel and information. And it is so, so nice. Uh, Monos is laughing. And I don't know why Monos is laughing. Why is Monos laughing? Rubenstock says, I have pest. Which I am assuming has something to do with licks. But we may have missed something. Um, I, sorry, I got distracted. Uh... Nearby, of course, all the Finnish players are on, like, the same screen, basically. We have Green playing as the Mayans, and then we have Monos playing as the Japanese. So, like, this right here is one team, all on one screen, and then everyone else is spread out. So. Now, in the previous Nomad game, I explained, if you can have one player who can disrupt multiple players while the other players have an easier time and a free boom, that is the goal of Nomad. And so for Lix to be close to these players is very good. He could have a tough time, though. His dock is very close to uh, the max. I think Armenian should have a really nice time at competing for water, possibly. And then we've got Monos next to Yo's fish. So again, two enemies next to each other fishing. And then we have uh, Orange next to Green. So again, enemies next to each other fishing. And then you've got uh, DK over here as well. So the only player with safe fish is actually Rubenstock. Everyone else is next to an enemy on water, which means going for water control is really strong here. <laughs> Mully in my chat. Mully Sako says, tell us about Varjoti. Okay, so... Mully in my chat is a Finnish 2K player. Just like Varjoti. I don't know as much about Varjoti, and Mully just wants bait so I could so he could probably tell his friend about it. The, the th only thing I know about Green is that he's way, way better than the Mully Sako guy. That's the only thing I know. Is that good? Is that what you wanted? That's the only thing I know. Like, so much more talent. So much more skill. Better jokes. Better better looks. Uh, You know, everything. Just so much better. Now, clip it and ship it, pal. I can make that joke because I know Mully Sako. I don't actually know too much about Varjoti here, so... Sorry. Um, the late times will be important. Now, because the Armenians are so good on water, I expected Max to take that role. That seems to be the case. Uh, Max is on the way to Feudal Age already. 
Actually, Melisaka, can you tell me? He's like a 2K fin, right? I actually don't have... Like, all jokes aside, a lot of intel on him. And I think Jahoy or Jahu or Jahu, who, whoever, who played in the previous game is also a 2K from Finland. I don't... Here comes uh, Monos with a villager. Is Monos gonna... Monos is gonna TC drop. We are about to see a TC drop on Lix. <laughs> Monos is gonna delete his TC. 100%. <laughs> Uh, all right. I think he is. What does he? I'm so confused right now. Okay, deletes it. Is that in range? <laughs> I don't think that's in range, guys. <laughs> because Lick's garrison and there were no arrows. I am pretty certain that Monos is going to garrison and it's not going to be in range of the opponent's TC. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm not from Finland, so I don't understand these things naturally. It is in range. Okay. All right. Well, Lix has done this to people a million times, and Monos knew that Lix could do something crazy, so he said, I'll bring the crazy to you. And so here we go. Uh, a, a random cow did die, so sad times for the cow. And Lix is going to make it to Feudal Age, but his TC is going to be shot down. This is going to be brutal for Lix, because Lix is going to lose his fish as well. Lix is going to be so screwed. They're just trying to get rid of this guy so he can't be a pain. Lix was going fast castle as well, and you need a TC to go fast castle. Monos! Oh, <laughs> Monos is like, how does it taste, you rat? And by the way, if we ever call someone a rat, we say that that that's a that's a compliment, right? Uh, Lix is known for being a pest. Hmm. Okay. What else is happening? Uh, obviously, we got water from Max. Lix has lost his fish. Uh, good luck to you, Lix. Down here, we've got some water from Kyler, who is killing fish from Varjo. Manos is also fleeing with his fish. Um, so, uh, okay. Monos is fleeing with his fish because, there, man, there's just so many docks around. We're going to have Varjo going for water here. Kyler's going for water. Okay, Monos is now hunting Lix down. Now, if there's ever anyone who knew how to deal with a TC drop, it would be Lix or Rubenstock. Because they've both done that a lot. Rubenstock being the TC dropper. Monos still has a TC. But I'm guessing his plan is maybe to delete and go for a TC drop again. But he has to find that TC first from Lix. Manos is about to go for TC drop number two. I guarantee you that. I promise you that. I guarantee you that. There's a chance he loses the foundation. If Lix expects this and Lix garrisons at the proper time, it actually looks like Lix is spreading out his vills to block the foundation. <laughs> Oh, he lost it! He lost it! Like I said, he lost it! So Max has had an amazing start. Mono's tried to make it crazy, and Lix will know that Mono's can't make another one. So now Mono's is without a TC. Like I said, there's always that chance. So what, what can Mono's do right now? Mono's needs stone to build another TC. Won't have that. As these villagers working... Well, you could villager rush, I guess. Uh, I mean, that this is amazing for, for Lix now. Sure, he's in a bad spot, but it's not going to be as bad as Monos. Monos is going to wall in the gold. Just be a pain. What a funny game. Monos might be trying to find stone. Oh, he is on stone here. I like how he's on stone right next to Lix. There's no one else to TC drop, by the way. Lix is the only one here. Big demo there. Some fishing ships go down for Kyler, but right now I'm really liking the position for Rubenstock's team. How's Yo doing? Yo's gonna be in Castle Age soon. Yo's added a stable. Yo's gonna add scouts. Yo, like Yo and Kyler and also DK pretty much being untouched here. Obviously, they might be losing some fish, but that's really good for them. 
And they might compete on water as well. Castle here from Rubenstock. He's placed a castle to protect his gold, but also his opponent's stone. And Monos is going to TC drop again. <laughs> that is an amazing TC! Wow, this is like... You know when you tower somebody behind the wood line and, you, and, and behind their gold? That's what this TC is. Very rare that you see a TC drop from the other side of the wood line. All right, so again, Dark Age forever for Monos. His goal is to shoot down the TC from Lix. Lix is going to make it to Castle Age, though. And then Lix can make as many TCs as he wants. I do think it's kind of interesting that Lix doesn't have a lumber camp. So if he were to, like, lose the market, let's say, and then not realize, he could actually be screwed. Might need to chop wood and hop into his buddy's TC. Uh, here comes Rubenstock, though, to support with Aratha. And this is amazing stuff. This is exactly what you want, actually. You want to take Lix out of the game. How's, what is Lix supposed to do here? His TC is going to get shot down. There's unique units here. And they are going to... They could potentially defeat the man. This is sick. I know, obviously, Mono's is, is pop is down, but... Lix could be defeated. Lix doesn't have access to gold, guys. So he can't even make monks, and his TC's about to go down. This is epic. It is very rare we see someone actually be this close to being defeated in a game. DK's here in support. Bringing in some knights. There's going to be Lightcap from Yo as well. So they're going to have some level of support. He's going to have two monks. Um, here's DK to kill Mono's Vils. But that is a lot of Ratha here from Rubenstock. And Rubenstock slicing and dicing. He's going to hear the Wolalo. He will back away. Or he'll just go in for the monks. He goes in for the monks. He loses the Ratha. He does kill one of the monks. For now, Lix is alive with 14 pop. And now Manos is like, okay, job done. Please don't let me die, guys. I did what I was supposed to do. Please don't let me die. What is this? Random max villager, that goes down. Um, green is getting pressured by some of these knights as well. And Lix is being told by his team right now, just stay alive, we are winning. <laughs> and he's like, easy for you to say, but he makes himself this cute little area. And I mean, the occasional monk conversion can hopefully hold... There is a point where Rubenstock just cannot focus on, on the dead player anymore. Lix. He has to go somewhere else. Manos will be back in the game in 30 minutes himself. So, you know, both these players are just kind of dead together. Manos wants to keep Lix there. I just love how, you know, Lix's reputation is why this has probably happened. Because Lix has done this to other people. But there's been a lot of... I know it hasn't been Lix being aggressive... But there's been a lot of focus on Lix. And because there's been a lot of focus on Lix, the other three players have, have been able to do what they want. So that's kind of what you want in the first place, right? Is three players uncontested with the boom. One player distracting the others. Yo has the eco lead for this game. Well, pretty much has the eco lead for this game. But you do have Rubenstock there. These Lightcap finding some great pickoffs here from Yo and Max having some real problems. When we joined the game, I didn't call it Nomad. I called it Yomad. When Yo is playing Nomad, hard to bet against him. Hard to bet against Rubenstock and hard to bet against Max as well, though. Just all all three Nomad legends. What is this from Max? What are we looking at here? I think earlier he was attacked and he needed to protect all of his bills on gold, and then he built a TC. I... I it's very rare that you see a player get defeated and then the team wins the game afterwards. <laughs> and I'm, I'm watching Lix without a TC slowly be surrounded. <laughs> and I'm thinking that we might actually have that possibility. Rubenstock has actually gone for atonement to convert his opponent's monks. Rubenstock trying to chase this down. 
And the camels from DK are here to support. I think these villagers might actually escape, but they need to run faster. Population's very close here. Lix is building a TC here. I guess whatever villager had built a dock, maybe it escaped. Or maybe he escaped with more. Every time I seem to look over into the Finn's eco, there's Light Calf from Yo just roaming around. Yo even made a siege workshop here with his dock build, so he could pressure this way. Beautiful job from Yo. Magyars have a really good late game as well. There's like no army right now from Max because he went full water. And sure, you know, his team has benefited from that in some ways, but still. Okay, so whose position is stronger, guys? Mono's? who's in Dark Age with 40 eco, or Lix, who's in Castle Age with 14 eco. Which position do you pick? I think I would pick Monos, actually. You guys are saying Lix. You think so? It's not gonna, it shouldn't take Monos long to get to Castle Age. I, I could see arguments for either time, though, like being, or either one, because being in Castle Age is really nice. Obviously, uh, the biggest factor is, is your team supporting you? What is the situation there? Manos right now has the support of his team. Lix, of course, does not have the same level of support. And But Feudal Age coming in at a casual 29 minutes here for Manos. Beautiful stuff. Forward Villager here from Yo gets picked off as he probably starts to just focus more on the raids. 89 eco for Rubenstock, who's had fishing ships in the north. We called that in Dark Age. We'll see how good the Ratha is long term. But it's done a pretty good job. <laughs> Lix is trying to convert. <laughs> He's trying to convert anything he can. He gets some fishing ships. Let's go. He's sending it to his dock. <laughs> I'll laugh if he actually gets away with fishing there. Uh, Mono's 42 eco, about to click up to Castle. Uh, we'll see if Lix has the food to, to add out of his TCs, but he's going to be booming with the fishing ship. Does have one TC. He's back in Dark Age, basically. But he's booming. Big Navy here from Kyler. And the fishing ships from Rubenstock are out of the picture now. Rubenstock has 32 vills in queue. That's crazy. His eco's nuts. Yo's eco is really good as well. And Max tried to wall this up real quick. And Yo was just not allowing it. Yo seems to think that the knights from the Magyars will beat these Ratha every time. And I don't blame him. Ratha have a knight mode and a ranged mode. But I feel like pure knights is probably just better. Still a little bit of confusion on this unit. I just... We don't have to have a full conversation on it. But it makes me sad that the Ratha is so unique in that... It like has a melee and a ranged mode, and that's never really been truly explored, and it also feels so awkward in the game. There's definitely some things I think they could do to make that be a bigger part of the Bohe the Bengali identity. Uh, and, and also just make it easier to use, but... I'm not going to see that, most likely, as the Ratha now try and engage against the Knights, and yo, typical, man! Forward castle, here we go! There's a castle from Max as well! Will Max's castle go up? I think it will, most likely. The knights from Yo are dominating, though. But at least Max will have his own castle. That's nice. Imp is on the way for Rubenstock. If he could build his own castle, and he could potentially trev this down. And then Yo could be struggling. But I remember, one of the biggest parts of Nomad, it's like, are we talking about a player? If we are not talking about a player, that is good, right? We have not talked about Yellow much. We have not talked about Orange much. That is very good for Team Yo. Let's see if Rubenstock can get a castle somewhere. He doesn't have any stone available. He can build a castle to tread that down. Well, I guess he has this castle, right? Yeah, if he can go Pikes, if he can go Ratha, he can go Trebs. Yo will lose this castle. Yo could have some problems. We'll see if Yo can make it to Imp. Okay, so Manos is now in castle, and he's able to go TC2, TC3. And then Lix is at 29 villagers with just two TCs, yeah. So, it does seem like the position for Manos is actually superior. So he took Lix out of the game. And obviously, he's brought himself back into it now. Nice job. Now Lix isn't completely out of the game. 
Looks it's still gonna be a pest here. And the more of a pest he is, the more awkward it is for his teammate to support this. And that's Rubenstock, right? Rubenstock wants to be helping Max here and keeping Max propped up. Hasn't really been able to do that. No petards from Max or Yo, just rams from Yo, and I think Yo will take that down. Tyler's also going to drop a castle behind this now. And we've got the, the Chinese player who is also playing as the Chinese, <laughs> ready to push in. And it's like everything seems to be surrounding Finland's now. And slowly but surely, they're going to push in. China's going to push in from all angles. Rubenstock is 130 eco, but there were two players on the other team that have that. And Monos will never be able to really help out. And maybe that was part of the plan here, because now Lix can't contribute. But Lix is still Lix is still giving him a hard time. Monk rushing him, converting bills. Just being a pain. Another castle from Yo now. And Yo could maybe go for Trebs. Yo rammed down the TC now too. Yo is finding great engagements. Yo has to click up to Imp yet. So he still could lose these castles. I think that that is the positive thing right now for, for Team Finland. It's just the fact that Yo is not even an Imp yet. Like Yo has barely even started to advance. So pretty soon Yo could lose all of his castles. And if Yo loses all of his castles, suddenly we have a problem. Now, Tyler is going to be making Conics, I think. I think he's planning on making Conics out of the Krepos. But even still, he doesn't really have the buildings yet. And the opponent could have Halb with these Ratha and maybe with some Monks too. I actually think... Like, it felt inevitable that Team Lix would win this game because of Yo's position. But he invested so much more into Castle Age. And he's going to start to lose these castles here. The problem is... DK is coming. Donkey Kong's coming through, man. He's going to have Elite Chukunu, Rams. We have Fortified Wall now from Green. And Green is playing Fatsob Simulator to just try and keep the, this pressure out. But when there's range units behind, the villagers will die. And the Eco is likely to get rammed down. Uh, Green's about to click up to the Imperial Age. Does do so. But this needs to be stopped. And I don't know if Rubenstock can do that. It is pretty much only Rubenstock right now. The military count, the eco count, everything that Team Finland has is carried by Rubenstock. And so every second that Yo holds on here, every little bit of stubbornness that he has in him will hold him this position. And the GT's called, as I think they realize green's going to be wiped. Rubenstock might be making some progress, but it's not fast enough. And this means that Tyler is going to be on Elite Conic, and Conic will be through. Yellow is going to be through. And Lix is like, aha! That's what I thought! <laughs> oh, man, that was so funny. So this was like, it was a funny game because what I expected here was that Lix would annoy three people, and then the other three would boom on his team, and then they would win the game because of that. In actuality, what happened was Monos and Lix kind of canceled each other out of the game. And Lix being vulnerable, you know, was why Rubenstock was there, and Rubenstock did attack him in some way, mainly because he was vulnerable. But Lix did a good job of staying alive. I can't say that Ruben, that it was the best TC drop ever from Monos because he did lose one of the TCs, which was a little bit embarrassing. But the strategy itself did take Lix out of the game. The problem was they were not doing enough damage against the others. Um, and I don't know. Like, I just, I've watched a lot of Team Game Nomad, and it really feels like if, the, if there are players that are just further away from the others, those players always seem to play such a big role because they're just not taking any damage. There was nothing from Rubenstock, Max, Varjo, or Manos that was using mobility to get over there. There was no knights. There was, you know, none of that. So... That could have been a Civ thing. Bengalis don't get knights. Armenians typically go water, don't have like great knight options. Um, Mayans also don't get knights. And then Japanese, well, the guy was Dark Age forever, but 
That was probably the big difference in the game. Yo mixed in some knights, yellow mixed in some knights, and then they just boomed. And you could see the eco for those two was fantastic. I also think Rubenstock was hoping the Ratha would accomplish more. Like, he was basically using the Ratha as a knight-type unit and not necessarily the ranged unit that it can be. But, you know, he gave it a shot. I think a big thing was he needed to stop Yo from doing damage to the max, and he wasn't able to stop that, so GG.